Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a trip back to New York City in the 70s, shall we? Let's do it. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, this is Max Forte, and this is the channel where we talk about fragrances, smelling great, and how to make a great first impression. And of course, today we're going to talk about the newest release from the house from the Middle East, Oman. Of course, we're talking about Imitation Man. Both newest releases from Amouage, the man and the women's version, were exclusives to Harrods of London. Now, July 1st, they literally drop here in the U.S. You can now find Amouage Imitation Men and Women here in the U.S. where Amouage fragrances are sold. And the retail for this fragrance is 310 US. Available in one size only, the 100 ml, as you see here in this review. An absolute amazing presentation. If the juice smell as stunning as the presentation, we are in for a treat. Imitation Man is an EDP Eau de Parfum concentration. This is classed as a leather chipra. And the nose behind this fragrance is Leslie Girard. With, of course, the creative background and direction from Christopher Sean. And, of course, brings me to the next point. Christopher Sean's creation, Imitation Man, wanted to capture his childhood. He wanted to really embody all of his childhood experiences in New York City growing up as a child in the 70s, which was all about diversity, you know, different cultures, graffiti, neon light, you know, the bottle itself looks like neon, you know, Studio 54. The whole plethora of culture, backgrounds, and you know, the, the, the melting pot that was New York City in the 70s, and still is today, but everything that was happening, creating tremendous amounts of opportunities in the 70s to what we have today. So now when you first spray Imitation Man, what I get on my skin is this amazing, juicy, mouth-watering pear cord. Now, pear is not listed here in this fragrance. You do have a citron uh, you know, note that is listed in this fragrance, however, on my skin, I get like a pear, a juicy, ripened pear cord that's really mouth-watering. That citron accord or pear that I get quickly dissipates so the citrus go away. Then it makes way to the stars of the fragrance. A supple suede leather-like feel with the orris root, almost like an iris kind of thing that you would get with Dior Homme, but it's much more intense and much more uh, elaborate that you get here. Also, you get a nice rose that's very toned down and, and subdued in the background, not a jammy rose that you would get with Lyric Man, as well as a delectable patchouli that comes to play in the dry down to really warm things up. The fragrance also features a dash or a dab of aldehydes, which also brings that vibe of the 70s Chipra, as it were. When you look at the whole spectrum of Amouage, you know, Imitation Man is quite strong, however, it falls right in the middle of the spectrum of all the Amouages. What I mean by that is it's not going to be quite strong, pungent, and daring as a dark ones such as Figment Man or you know Memoir Man or Interlude Man and also it's not as wearable as your lighter scents like Reflection Man for instance it's blended amazingly well like I said it's really supple it's smooth it's soothing um, it's not in your face dark or brash but it has some components that are actually daring but it also is on a more wearable side of things, never leaving that niche daring side of fragrances that we all come to love. And that's why we look at you know niche fragrance houses like a Moage. Push is really strong, guys. Be very cautious with your spray. You don't want to choke people. This is one of those scents that will choke people out if you overspray, especially right now in the summertime. Uh, I think this is an all year round. It's, it's quite you know versatile in the sense that a guy or a gal can wear this fragrance. To my nose and my uh, taste, this falls a little bit more in a feminine side of things. I would definitely wear this. I like it on my wife better, but you know, depending on your taste, you will love this fragrance. But again, to me, it just falls a little bit more into the feminine side of things. I haven't tried the you know imitation women, but this one, however, is a little bit more feminine for my taste. And what this reminds me of, it reminds me of a fragrance that I used to have from Armani Privé called Cure Amethyst, which was also more feminine to me, and that's why I gave it to my mother. But again, it is a more wearable version of that. However, it has a lot of resemblances with that fragrance. So if you are a fan of Cure Amethyst from Armani Privé, definitely look this one up. Performance is amazing. I got 10 plus hours. If I spray my clothes, my shirt would smell like this fragrance the next day, so it's quite strong. Projects for about two to three hours, really heavy, so really be careful with the sprays. Two to three is more than enough. And needless to say, it will give you a phenomenal sillage. My final thoughts on Imitation Man. It is a fine release, yet another fine release from Amouage. I love the brand. It's one of my favorite niche houses of all time. Definitely at my top 10 niche houses of all time. I gave you guys a spectrum of all the different releases where this falls. 
But when it comes to all the, the different M washers I own, this would take a back seat to most of them. I would probably wear, you know, Myths Man before I wore this. It's a different scent, it doesn't smell like Myths Man, but I'm saying for my taste, when it's cold out, I'd rather go with that fragrance. I would probably wear this mostly in spring and fall, but not as much as I would wear Epic Man or Interlude Man or Jubilation 25 or Figment Man. I absolutely love, even Beach Hut Man, I think it's great for the fall as well. So from the latest releases, you know, Beach Hut Man, Figment Man, this would take a back seat from those two latest releases, meaning for the three last releases I've tried from Amouage and own, this would take a back seat. I like the fragrance, I don't love it. Again, I think it's a little bit more feminine, but definitely give it a try. It's just my taste, take it with a grain of salt, try it on your skin. You may love this one and think it's the best one from Amouage. It's definitely worth you trying it. And I'm definitely gonna make it possible for you guys to try this fragrance. I'm gonna give two lucky winners a chance to win two five mil decants. This is worldwide, anyone can participate. All you need to do is three things. Number one, be a subscriber to this channel. Number two, like this video. And number three, share this video in any of the social media platforms. Just be sure to tag me, Max Forte. I'll take tally, do a drawing. Two lucky winners will win two five mil decants of Imitation Man worldwide. Good luck to you all. Of course, let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried Imitation Man or Imitation Women? What are your thoughts on these two newest releases? Do you love, like it, hate it? Whatever the case may be, please comment down below. Let's start a little conversation about Amouage, shall we? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to show your support to your channel. If you like the channel, it's very simple. It's free. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more if you haven't yet. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, don't forget to enable your notification bell so you always get first dibs on new releases, fragrance reviews just like this one, giveaways just like the one today, and anything and everything that happens in the fragrance world at the Important of Sense Facebook group and at the YouTube channel. All the links will be down below. Stay fragrant, keep on spraying, but remember, it's not just what you spray, but also how you play. See you next time.